How's it going guys? And in this video, we're gonna be talking about deep tendon reflexes and how do you grade them? And so if you've ever walked into an exam room and you've seen one of these, this is called a Trumner hammer. And this is what doctors use to check if you have the deep tendon reflex and to also evaluate it. And so basically as the name implies, when you strike a tendon, it will cause a reflex or it should cause a reflex. And so when you look at a cadaver, I think the very common one is the patellar tendon, which is the thing uh, that a lot of people get when they do their knee jerk reaction, which is gonna be that guy right there. So this is a cadaver that, uh, or a virtual one that is right there. So basically when the doctor has you sit on that table and then they hit you on that tendon with your, uh, Troner hammer, that is what should induce a reflex, the knee jerk reflex. Uh, alternatively, what you can do is you can just hold someone's hand and right in this area, you've got a lot of tendons. You've got the abductor pollicis longus, the uh, extensor pollicis. You've got a bunch of tendons that are right in here because there's no muscle. That's just the tendons from these muscles up in here coming through. So basically, if you take your Trumner hammer, you should be able to induce reflexes in your fingers by doing this. And I mean, ideally you're doing this on a patient because you're valuing them and not yourself. But basically that is the deep tendon reflex test. So very gently just kind of hitting this should make your fingers have a reflex because of you striking those tendons. Um, and so the key things to know in terms of how do you grade this stuff is zero. I'm reading this right off of the NIH.gov website. Zero means that there's no response at all. It could be zero slash four. So zero out of four means that they did not get any reflex. A one plus means that you had a slight but uh, present response that may or may not be normal. Two plus is also considered a brisk response and normal. Three plus is a very brisk response, can be normal or abnormal. And then four plus indicates that you've got a repeating reflex. So even after you hit it, your hand's still doing this or your patient's hand's still doing that. So those are the key things to make note of is that basically one to three, totally okay. Uh, two is literally the average or normal response that two you would expect. And then zero means no response and four means that you had an extended response or a clonus repeating reflex of this after you struck the actual uh, tendon. So that is going to wrap things up. Hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys next time.